Hello. This is a video on the truncated tetrahedron. The truncated tetrahedron is one of the 13 Archimedean solids. In this series, I'm going to be showing how each of the 13 Archimedean solids are derived from the platonic solids. Here is the truncated tetrahedron. Now let me show how that is formed from a tetrahedron. Here I am at the Truncate, Expand, and Snubify website. Let's get down here to the tetrahedron. Here we have the, the tetrahedron, the triangular pyramid, if you will. And if I slide this slider, I'm truncating the corners. Here I've just truncated a little bit. We're cutting off each corner and a little triangle is being formed. And the truncated tetrahedron looks about like this. In order to be an Archimedean solid, all edges must be the same length. Each face must be a regular figure. So this is a regular hexagon. This is a regular triangle. In order to truncate properly, you take each edge, for example, this edge between the purple and the green, and divide it in thirds. So this point is going to move to the one-third point. This vertex is going to move into the one-third point. Here we have the truncated tetrahedron. Now I have some questions for you. Here we have the original tetrahedron. Each vertex has a degree 3, which means three edges meet at the point and three faces meet at each vertex. The number of sides on the face is 3 because it's made up of triangles. There are four faces. There are six edges and there are four vertices. Now we're to analyze the truncated tetrahedron and determine the degree of each vertex and so on. Please pause the video and answer these questions. I hope you enjoy learning about the Archimedean solids.